Hey, what is going on guys? So today I'm gonna to show you how to transfer files using AirDrop from your MacBook or your iMac to your iPhone and vice versa. And we'll go ahead and transfer some photos and videos. So the first thing I'm gonna mention is with your iPhone, you have to have the AirDrop on, you have to have Wi-Fi on, and you have to have the Bluetooth on. The thing is, the Wi-Fi is not the Wi-Fi network. It's a Wi-Fi direct connection. So first thing is how to access the Bluetooth on your iPhone. Here's an iPhone 8. If you have an iPhone 8 or prior, basically an iPhone with a physical home button like you see right here, what you do is from the bottom, you slide up, okay? So bottom, slide up like that. Then you get this screen right here, and you see where the Wi-Fi connection and the Bluetooth connection in AirPlay mode is. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and press this, so this screen here pops up and the bottom left hand corner you can see where it says airdrop and it says everyone if i tap on this right here if i want to turn it off i would simply tap on receiving off and then you have the option of contacts only or everyone i'm going to go ahead and leave it on everyone but remember it has to be on okay so i'll tap on everyone it's highlighted here if i tap on receiving off then obviously it's not going to be highlighted so i have to have this highlighted and I'll put down everyone. Now, if you have an iPhone that doesn't have a uh, physical home button, like a iPhone XS Max here, instead of sliding from the bottom up, you would wanna go from the top right-hand side and slide down, and this menu here will pop up, and then go ahead and press, uh, kind of hard, do a force touch for this, this uh, XS Max, and then this will pop up, okay? So I have an uh, AirDrop on, and it says everyone, and I also have my Wi-Fi on and my Bluetooth on. So this phone is ready. Okay, so the next thing is the MacBook. So with the MacBook here, top right-hand corner, you should see the Bluetooth icon right there. Go ahead and tap on that, and then you can turn it on or off. If I turn it off, then it just like grays out. If you don't have the Bluetooth icon up here, just go into the search right here and do a search for Bluetooth Fox change right there. That's perfect. Then you can tap on that. And then this will pop up here, leave Bluetooth off or turn Bluetooth on. Let me just uh, leave it off. I usually just go in the top right hand corner here. It's grayed out right now, but let me just uh, tap on that and I'll go ahead and turn on Bluetooth right there. Don't forget your Wi-Fi needs to be on too. Just your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth on your MacBook. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and transfer a file from my MacBook to one of my iPhones here, okay? So, so let me go ahead and open up my Photos app right here. And let me choose like a photo. Now the thing is I can choose like a multiple photos. I can just highlight all of them just like this. Photos and videos. But I'm just going to go ahead and move, transfer one photo. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And if you look right here, you have to look for this icon right here. Go ahead and tap on that share icon. And then once we do that, we have other options here where we can share it. You'll find AirDrop on the drop down menu. Click on AirDrop. Now the thing is, I have to be logged into my iPhone. So let me go ahead and log in. As soon as I log in, it should find it relatively soon. So give it a second here. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes you do have issues with the Bluetooth and you have to turn the uh, Bluetooth on and off as well as the Wi-Fi. Anyways, I found it right away. It says Virgil's iPhone. This, this phone right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this on my computer. It says waiting and now voila. Now that was pretty quick. Now let's do this vice versa. Let's go ahead and transfer, let's transfer a video and a photo onto my MacBook. So let me go into my photos gallery on my iPhone 8 here. And let me go back and let's go ahead and transfer this photo and this video. This video here is 11 seconds long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on select here. And we're gonna tap these two right here. And then from here, tap on that share icon, bottom left hand corner. Let me tap on that airdrop here. Let me go ahead and tap on that. And hopefully it finds it pretty fast. Okay, I found it pretty fast. It's only 11 second video. Again, sometimes you do have like issues with the airdrop. You know, you have to wait a little bit longer. Anyway, I found it right away. It says VL's uh, MacBook Pro. That's me right there. Let me go ahead and tap on that. And it found it right away, as you can see up here. And it is downloading. And it is done. So if I tap on my Photos app down here, we should have that same exact video. So here's the video right there. And the photo is right there. And it also should be in my Downloads folder. So if I go to my Downloads folder here, where's Downloads? Right here, I can see these two files here that were transferred today. Let me just double click the uh, the photo one here and you can see it right there as well. So pretty simple. If you guys have any questions or need assistance, just comment below. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one.